Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Battletech. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't getting a little frustrated out here with the difficulty of finding good mech components. It may be that the bar that I'm setting is just too high. It's too hard to find 8 mechs worth of gear if the only gear you will accept is 85 ton mechs and SRM 6 plus pluses. Uh, but we're going to have to figure something out. Either I'm going to have to go in with way less metal than I'm comfortable with, or... We're going to have to start taking some risks to expose ourselves to good mechs that we can scrap and salvage. So, obviously, I'm choosing to go with the second one. We're going to take this bait. The Torian Concordat is tracking an extremely heavy mech with Davion Heraldry. The provocation is almost certainly bait for a trap, and we'd like you to spring it. Engage the heavy mech, intercept the forces that are sent to defend it, and destroy all of them. Sounds pretty scary. I'm not comfortable with how little information we have either, Darius, but I think we gotta do it. I hate that it's taking place in a desert. And we're gonna go... We have to go all the way up here to get three pieces of salvage. My, I'm guessing that this is gonna be pretty good for us. I'm guessing that we're looking at a lot of... A lot of decent mech parts. I'm gonna go 314 on this. We are, we are really going all in here. Alright, so this is maybe not a good time for Buckshot to be training. I'm going to pull Buckshot. We're going to put Bell in. Yeah, this is a good team. Maybe I don't want Sumo on the Orion. Maybe I'd rather have Reckless. No, you know what? Sumo's good at his job. Reckless has Breaching Shot, which is nice. And with this arrangement, we only have one person who can sensor lock. We do have to get we do have to get this guy XP'd up. You know, I think he's he's able to contribute enough. If we're if we were talking about the awesome, having to drive the awesome, I'd maybe switch them. Actually, with him having bulwark, probably not, huh? Yeah, he's a good pilot. I'm just a little worried that his overall stats are a problem. Because he sure does have a lot fewer stat points than Reckless does. But it's alright, we'll get her back in soon. So I believe this is the first four and a, uh, four and a half star, four and a half skull, rather, mission that we've done. I know they're not actually skulls, I think they're supposed to be the faceplate of the Atlas. Although, you know, that's not really a different thing, because the faceplate of the Atlas is very clearly designed to re resemble a skull. So this might be too hard. We might get totally torn up here, and if we end up losing pilots, this may not be worth all the effort we're... Oh, sorry, all the effort. This may not be worth all the risk. Then again, yeah, it's it's a lot easier to get new pilots than it is to get new mechs. It's, uh, it's crappy to think of it that way. <laughs> it sucks, but it's true. I don't know. You know, honestly, I kind of would have preferred to bring the Awesome to a mission like this, where I'm not really sure what's going to happen just due to its extreme toughness, if it weren't a desert biome. It is so hard to actually use that thing in combat anytime we're getting less than normal heat sinking. Alright, let's go run full speed into a trap. You know, like we do. Acknowledged. Okay, let's try to surprise it. Run around the side here a little bit. Location confirmed. Uh, we got a read. We got an 80 ton read. That's probably him. Give up everything you've got. Now it's just a matter of whether or not we'll be killed by ambushers. Good to go. Can we get in sensor range? We can okay Roger that Got a lock Okay, it's a Zeus. Good I assume go. from the name of the Zeus and also from, you know, having seen a couple of them that the Zeus's thing really is um 
energy weapons, which is a shame, because at this point I think we all probably know how I feel about that. Understood. Moving I can get pretty close to it without actually being in vision, I think, here, and then we can jump jet over this and let him have it on our next turn. I assume the ambushers should be showing up any moment now. Okay, I can get direct line of sight. Honestly, he doesn't have um he doesn't have any defenses up or anything. I probably want to take this shot, right? Doesn't put me in a great place, but I think I'm probably out of range of most of his return fire. His AC5s are effective at pretty long range. No, never mind. He has actually he has a lot of ability to return fire at that range. How bad is the obstructed vision? Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, this is a, at least a position where we have some cover. Okay, do I want to try to focus on one body part? We could try to maybe bring down one of his legs. Because obviously I'd like, to, I'd like to get two pieces of salvage off of this if I can. Ah, uh, called shots with sumo are so bad. Never mind, just, just take the normal shot. We'll see what opens up. That looks pretty cool from this angle. Alright, he's unsteady. We've exposed his torso a little bit. I think we should be able to get Bell into a position where we can hit him with both the missiles and the rifle. Okay, from here I have unobstructed. A bell will probably aim. Where did we really do damage? I don't necessarily want to tear off part of his torso for fear of limiting the amount of uh, salvage we're going to get. Didn't really do any leg damage, which is a shame. But we can start in on it. Okay, we crit his laser, destroy the heatsink. Those are both useful. Unfortunately, this knockdown is not really worth anything because he's going to immediately get up. But we're going to be able to score a knockdown earlier in the next round because we're going to get Medusa's missile pods on him. So hopefully we can... Um Oh wow, he was able to sort of get a shot there. His backup is not showing up fast enough. There's not going to be anything left of this dude before too much longer. Alright, so we jump up to here. We want to show him our right side, our left side. One day I shall remember. And then I think we call to the leg, right? We don't need to land much here, and if I land almost anything here, then we get free called shot for Decker, which probably finishes the job. Actually, I'm not I'm not sure Decker's close enough for that. Alright, well, that probably... I, I don't think that affects anything. I think if we finish off the other leg, we'll still get two pieces of salvage. Yeah, his, uh, his backup, his ambush... Standing a little bit too far away, unfortunately. Confirmed. We're going to get here after we've finished the job already. Alright, do your best. I'm a little worried that we're going to center torso him. Actually, okay, let's turn off the SRMs. What was my percentage to the, to the leg from here? 62? Ugh. I don't like that. I'm going to only fire two of the lasers as well. I'm trying to make it so that I definitely won't tear through his left torso, but like we, there's still a chance of getting a center torso shot that just immediately kills him. And I'm pretty sure if I do get the center torso shot, then we'll only get one piece of salvage. I copy. 
Yeah, this allows for one weapon to... Oh, wow. Okay, well, if the AC-20 misses entirely, then there's no version of that that works. Sumo's too bad at shooting to get the job done. Um, he's just going to reserve. And if this thing gets up, there's still a pretty good chance that Bell can finish the job, I think. So if we just go Gauss Rifle to the leg. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna risk it a little bit here. Okay. If that hadn't worked and he'd gotten up and gotten to shoot at us, that could have been really ugly. But I wanted to I wanted to really, really try to guarantee myself two pieces of salvage, because I believe we have one piece of a Zeus already. I don't know for sure that it's the same model. Okay, so we want to make sure that people who have heat on them get to move during this time. Because uh, we need to we need to bleed off some of that heat. Good to go. And if our if our round ends early, the people who didn't actually take actions seriously will not experience the time, and, and their heat will not bleed off. It's kind of a strange system, but we've already had it happen a couple of times. The reinforcements are coming in from this direction. We do have to fight them. This is not one of those things where I have a choice of uh, of bailing on the secondary part of the fight. So I wonder if... Man, I, I don't really want to just, like, run across the open in this valley here. I wonder if it would be a good idea for me to have Medusa get up on the hill. I'm going to try that. We're going we're gonna to move over here and then jump up. Bell's got to try to get close. So that he can actually use the full complement of weaponry. Decker, unfortunately, also kind of has to try to get close. On it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something a little unusual with him. Position confirmed. Or maybe spreading out too much. I wanted to try to get around and get up on the uh, on the high ground with them, because of course, Thunderbolt having no jump jets is not probably going to be able to just run up this cliff face. And also, even if I could, I don't know that I want to run up directly into the enemies. I don't know. We'll see how things work out. So it doesn't seem like they're actually coming for us. We have to go get them. Which I guess is a good thing because it means I do get to uh, I do get to actually go around the, the edge with, uh, with Thunderbolt here. And I'm going to try to make it not... Oh, that's the edge of the mission area. I'm going to see if it'll let me go up the edge here. I'm going to try to keep the Highlander from spreading out away from him too much. So he needs a little bit of close cover. Yeah, this is a weird mission. If this lance doesn't turn out to be, like, absolutely terrifying, I really don't understand why this... Okay, we got something. That's just a catapult. Huh. Why was this mission rated as being so difficult? Right, well, I think he probably wants to wait until the catapult has its turn. I think the same is probably true of Decker. Yeah, they're not going to let me run up the side. Actually, I guess... Yeah. Reserve. So probably the catapult will just end up firing at the Highlander. Which is a pretty good move for us. Ooh, he's getting close enough that he might be able to be auto cannoned from there. Pretty bad odds. I don't think I would bother firing like that. Uh, we could just full sprint. Copy that. Five evasion charges will probably take care of me. Unless we start seeing something much scarier from them. Is that a 65 or an 85? Okay, 65. Yes, Commander. 
stand right here and take advantage of Bulwark, and... Yeah, these mechs aren't even really that... Huh. Not even really that well maintained. I don't know what's up with this. This is weird. Do I want to call a shot just to get the extra hit chance up? Probably not. Just see if we open up a hole anywhere here. Looks like that side of the torso is going to be pretty unsteady. Should be easy enough for Bell to clean up. Okay, they got something up there at 70 tons. That's a little bit more impressive. Yeah. Apparently 65 is the line for me. More, <laughs> Less than 65 is crummy, more than 65 is great. Uh, I can't actually get close enough to fire on you at all. Yeah, alright, then I probably just sprint. But there's no reason for me to do it yet. Let's let Bell take his turn, let whatever enemies are left. Okay, there's another 75. So we're probably going to want to have Decker uh, use Vigilance on his next turn. Let's see if we can get rid of this catapult before anything crazy happens. So I think I'm probably just going to stand right here. The enemies can go ahead and fire on us if they want. Turn all this stuff back on. And do I even want to call the shot? I think we could probably just... Well, I probably should, yeah. But if I call the shot, I'm going to have a little bit less morale to play with this coming turn. And I think the odds of me actually killing this guy are pretty good. I'm firing into the weak side. Uh, maybe I'm not going to get a kill without a call without a precision strike. Where's the... Let me think here. We could do 71... We have to do about 200 damage if I really focus here. Or I could focus here, but have half my shots hit areas that aren't actually important. Or we just try to headshot him with the Gauss Rifle. You know, with the number of missiles that we have, and him not being in cover, and only having 38 head health, maybe that's actually... Yeah, go for it. All weapons committed. And shots that don't go to the head are still going to the weak side, so we'll, uh, we'll do some real damage here. I did catch him in the head. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Doesn't much matter. Obviously he's uh he's toast no matter what at this point. That pilot's gotta be on like one health at most. Alright, I'm gonna full sprint. I'm a little worried that I'm gonna be just exposing myself to these guys. But I guess we know they don't go super early, and we're going to be able to use uh, Decker to kill the uh, catapult. So they're going to lose vision of me. Alright, we'll just run forward, turn my, my left side into them as much as I can. I think we should be okay. Yeah, I mean, this is like definitely a more serious lance than we're used to dealing with. Yep. It's just not going to be enough. Try to be in a place where they have as obscured vision as possible of me. Want to try to keep my left arm away from them to maintain my cannon. On my way. And even though I'm in what I think is a pretty safe position, I'm still going to Vigilance here. Let's not take the chance. I'll finish the job. We probably don't need to fire that. I need two laser hits. I'm trying to uh, not generate too much heat. Yeah, this is safer. This is way more likely to result in a kill. Hell yeah. We can salvage that. Yeah, but would we? <laughs> is that even worth our time? I think we just reserve now. Make them come to us a little bit. Okay, it's a Jaeger mech. Yeah, I'm glad I, uh... Glad I guarded up. Damage is light. So that thing has vision of the Medusa. 
Medusa is now exposed. But even so... Let's see here. He could run forward and also Vigilance. Just really let this thing have it. And then uh, that way he'll be providing vision of the stuff behind it for, uh, for Bell and Sumo. Yeah, alright. I don't hate that. Is this thing as... Yes, it is as poorly upkept as the others. Weird. Alright. Turn the left side toward them as much as possible. Come on, show me... Wow, really? You can't see this guy despite his vision. Like, this is... That is very obviously in visual range. Seeing some good center damage. Okay. 30 health left at center means probably Sumo's got the kill. As long as I shoot him from the front arc and not the side. If we were to shoot at him right now... Okay, we are front arc. We're a little bit too far away, though. I can get a better shot, but it requires me to come out of cover, it looks like. What if I move to right here? Right here, we're just a little bit short of being in optimal range. You can see that. Uh, the spot that Bell is standing in might... Is Bell? Yeah, Bell's in cover. That might be good enough. So I'm going to wait until, uh, we're going to reserve Sumo until after Bell's turn. Bell will move forward and hopefully give Sumo that good spot. Ooh, a Grasshopper. Yeah, really, really glad I went with the, uh, the Vigilance on this one. What are we going to do with Bell? There's not actually a great location for him to be in. I can't get anywhere near cover. I don't have vigilance available. I think I just like jump forward. My uh, my gas rifle's on my right arm, so I just jump forward and kind of face like this, try to keep them off the gas rifle, and hope to do some real meaningful damage to this grasshopper. The fact that its armor is all crappy is definitely going to help with that. I don't think I want to split my weapons. I'm pretty sure Sumo's got that other thing under control. Good solid hit. I mean, that said, I guess I don't really want to core that thing. Yep, okay, just barely. This is the maximum range where we get the good hit percentage. Alright, thank you, Bell, for cool yielding your position. It would be cool if this thing went down here. Firing all weapons. He doesn't have to hit center that much. He left it with eight. Boy, he spread his damage out as much as possible and left that thing with eight health. Receiving you. So this is where this is kind of awkward, right? Because we can't uh, we can't split fire. So I think I just stand perfectly still to take advantage of Bulwark and can I turn a little bit more? Really, really only be facing them with my left side. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring this thing down. I think that's worth doing. We don't need to fire everything, though. Honestly, probably just, like, one or two missile pods. Like, do I just fire these? I probably only have to fire one, but I want to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen that over-the-shoulder shot like that. Wow, he took the head off of it. The way, the way the griffin, like, rocks back and forth while it's firing the missile pods is actually pretty funny. Standing by. Okay, so now we have the resources necessary to to re-vigilance. I think, I think we probably are just going to end up coring this thing. My three pieces of, of taken salvage will be uh, the two pieces of the Zeus, 
and the one piece of the grasshopper, and like maybe something cool happens with this one, but I don't want to mess around with this thing, try to keep it in one piece, and end up sacrificing um, sacrificing too much time doing that, and end up getting myself killed by that. We don't want to lose a pilot here. So I think we probably just want to keep, yeah, let's keep drawing up. Copy that. We'll Vigilance again, and we'll just hit this thing with, with everything. I, it's not... I pressed the wrong button that has a shield drawn on it. What is that? It's another Orion. Well, we are definitely fighting the right kinds of mechs now. Turns out four and a half skulls is where you want to go. What's up, Commander? What's up is, please help me correct my mistake. Do I want to aim this shot, then? No, probably not. Sumo's so bad at actually aiming. Let's just knock the thing down and we'll figure it out afterward. Critical hit, Commander. Yes, well done. Is it splitting its weapons fire? Or was that was the whole thing, huh? Huh. Well, that is certainly a decision you can make. So, now that we've got a little while before it gets another action, I'm considering getting a little silly with it again. Because honestly, I don't feel that I'm in that much danger here. Let's try to put it on the ground. If I put it on the ground, there's a real good chance that Decker can finish off the legs, and maybe we walk away from this with two pieces of Grasshopper and two pieces of Zeus Salvage. Does it matter which one? I guess it would be better to take out the right leg because Decker has a better shot from the left side. Pretty close. Alright, we've got some time. Medusa have a shot? He does not. Shoot. Okay, well we can run up here. Can I run and... Okay, there we go. I'm gonna make sure I'm running and presenting my left side. Position confirmed. And then I'm shooting him from his right, so we're pretty likely to hit that leg. And the armor on his right is still relatively strong. Yeah, we got this. Let's go. How's that taste? Medusa, stop. You're so creepy. I guess it's fine. It's probably very unsettling for the enemy mech pilots. But it's still, it's creepy. Commander. It's creepy and weird. Alright, a little worried about uh, destroying the center torso again, but I think... Let me see here, I need to get through 130 health. But once we've done the 130 health, damage beyond that will go through to the center torso directly, I think. It might go to the left torso? But so we want to be pretty careful about this. I'm going to not fire the SRMs. If we don't miss with the cannon, ah, uh, we miss with the we miss with one of the lasers or both of the lasers actually. Okay, well, Sumo's got a. Uh, it's gonna punch me. Okay, ninety-five damage to the center. That is pretty real. Yeah. All right, Sumo's got a relatively easy called shot here. <sighs> okay, well, we're not gonna get this then. There's no way that his center torso survives this shot. But I think it better that he not get another turn. Because we're in a we're in a position now where like uh Medusa could actually take some serious damage from uh four medium lasers at point blank range. 
firing full complement on enemy. Better that we make sure we get the kill. He, he didn't even get through the leg. Target neutralized. Sumo, you are uh, you are a blunt instrument for sure. There we go. That's the shot we want. Right into the thing's back armor. Although, you know, we could just go for the yeah. Let's just go for the legs here. We can take this thing's legs out. Oh, I can't. I can't intentionally aim for the legs from behind. Well, whatever. We've already got enough. Uh, we've got enough stuff that we're taking as priority salvage. Let's just get rid of it. That's some pretty good shooting, though. Mission. Yeah, I get why that was rated as difficult, because there was a lot of total tonnage of enemy max there, but really not uh, not that hard of a mission. I'll put my guys up against basically any single lance of enemy pilots at this point. The danger comes in when you, when you start taking on, like, eight targets at the same time. So we're definitely going to grab Zeus and... Zeus. Oh, I had two pieces of a grasshopper, so actually this completes... That's fantastic, then. That's really, really good. We should probably look at the rest of the loot. I can't imagine what I would see that would convince me to not take these mech parts, though. Yeah, that's really, really great. Did we get anything cool? Oh, we got a triple plus medium laser. That's fine. No damage, unfortunately. Okay, well that was huge. That was that was better salvage than we've gotten on the last several missions combined. So now we probably have eight good mechs, right? I still need to maybe get some more equipment, but I think we're we're definitely in the neighborhood here. What we're about to run into though, I think, is an issue with me not really knowing how uh, how shop refresh works. Because we're probably going to want to go back to some of the former Star League Presence worlds that we've already been to. And I don't know how to know if we have waited long enough for there to be cool new stuff in their stores or not. We finished our Zeus 6X, 6S. It moves faster than many other assault mechs, mounts decent long-range weaponry, armor is very good. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. And the Grasshopper is a killer that specializes in hunting down light and medium mechs, superb jump, jump ability and good armor. Okay. Oh yeah, we should also probably level people up, sure. Let's have a quick look at the default loadouts for these mechs we just took. So the Zeus is showing medium laser. Wow, the Zeus is pretty versatile. If it's relatively fast and it boasts a fair amount of armor, we could, uh, we could mount an AC-20 on this, maybe. At 80 tons, it could definitely carry one. And then the Grasshopper has one missile hardpoint and seven... Oh, six support weapon, huh? Maybe. Maybe we finally found our punch mech? Maybe this is the one? Because it's going to punch really hard, right? We just mount, like, a bunch of machine guns and medium lasers and stuff? I was looking at the machine guns, by the way. I know I've, uh, I've talked about how it seems like machine guns are just worse than um, energy weapons. But what I did not realize, and we can probably see it here. Yeah, machine guns have a greatly increased chance to cause criticals when they hit a target that's been stripped of its armor. And now it could be that this is just describing the fact that the, you get five hits, and so there's five chances on the five rolls on the table. But when I read this, what I think it's saying is that each shot has a higher chance to crit. And then, because there are five shots, obviously, you're you're way more likely to get crits. Man, maybe it's worth it to just put some flamers on it, though? There's a, there's a lot of exciting options there. You know what? Let's, um, let's do another contract on this world. Just put together a little bit more money. And then uh, we'll end the episode before traveling, and I'll spend some time fiddling with them. And you guys can let me know what you think, uh, what you think might be uh, good in those mechs as well. And by the beginning of next episode, I will have figured out the builds that I, uh, I want to try out. So this mission doesn't actually have great pay. I guess we don't really need to make money. This mission doesn't have great pay, 
but it has a lot of salvage available, and I think uh, I think at this point we're we're mostly looking for gear, right? Now that it looks like we probably don't have to buy any mech parts, we probably have enough. Like if we found a Gauss rifle somewhere or something, we probably have enough to just buy that. So why don't we give this a shot? A scientist for a Davian conglomerate has turned industrial spy for a rival corporation from the Torians. She was privy to numerous industrial secrets that we would prefer not to fall into our competitors' hands. The Torian leadership has offered to sell her back, but we intend to use the false hope of negotiations to buy you time to extract the scientist through more proactive means. That's a... that's a heck of a use of the word proactive. So once again, it is a desert. And because this goes to 418 salvage, I'm wondering if we should stop at 314. Now let's try to let's try to take everything good out of here. At uh, at three and a half skulls, it's possible we'll see some decent max. It's not guaranteed, certainly, but we can hope. How much money do I get if I go this way? Oh, that's right. There's no uh, there's effectively no cash on this mission at all. So yeah, full salvage. Let's do it, and I think we can just take that same squad out. Actually, we could probably bounce Bell on this one and put Buckshot back in. This will be a lot easier. This is a good time to get her XP. Oh, I should spend XP on my pilots, probably, before I forget. So I'm just going to worry about the ones that are actually coming on this mission. Alright, you get to get Breaching Shot, which is awesome. And then, recoil penalty down. Oh, called shot, of course. Work toward called shots. Everybody needs called shot mastery. It does seem like maybe, maybe a little better than it has to be. Holy crap, you have a lot of XP stored up. Uh, I'm not that worried about the unsteady threshold. Plus health is fine, I guess. Indirect fire is not really a thing you ever are concerned about. Like, do I just... Do this will work toward increasing his unsteady threshold because I think these two skill points are basically useless. Training complete. Boy, he really had a lot stored up. Orders. I mean, Decker's been on every mission for a really long time, so. To be perfectly honest, you know what? Extra max evasion I think is actually useful on him. He, his mech is fast enough to actually generate all of the evasion pips sometimes. Ah, but we get called shot mastery. Mech warrior training complete. There's no way we don't take called shot mastery. Receiving you. All right, you have all your skills. I really don't think this is very good. But surprise, we're going to work work toward called shot mastery. Training confirmed, commander. Well, what does this point give us? Is it worth taking right now? Increased unsteady threshold. You know what? With the mech he's driving now, probably not. He's really not that well suited to his mech. We need him. We need him in something that's going to be a little bit closer up. He's probably the other Medusa, the Medusa for the the other Lance. So he's just he's just kind of awkwardly set up. But we got to get that XP on him somehow. I'm pretty happy with how the team's developing. If only we hadn't somehow lost Reaper. If only some person. Hadn't made a bunch of really irresponsible decisions that led to the death of Reaper. I mean, I don't really... Maybe this is crummy to say, but I don't really feel that responsible because... I do feel like he got he got cored very suddenly in a way that we've never seen the enemies actually pull off before. Both uh, Twitch and uh, Panama died from like sustained attacks over several turns. I felt like Reaper was just fine, and then all of a sudden, the whole middle part of his mech was missing. I mean, it's not like that's not something we knew could happen, because we do it to people all the time. Not something I've ever seen the enemies do before. Listen, if the enemies could do all the things I can do, uh, I would not be taking any four and a half skull missions, I'll tell you that. I think I've lost track of how many layers of betrayal this represents. Is this a quadruple cross? This must be some scientist. I mean, the scientist is part of the, the layers of betrayal. I don't think that she's going to have a very good time when she gets reclaimed here. 
even if I was the people who originally employed her to turn spy, like, doesn't seem very trustworthy. Also, routinely more trouble than she's worth. Alright, move up and occupy. Once it's secure, get the rogue scientist into the rumble seat and head for the evac zone. Okay, so we are intended to run. There is no shame in running. You must remember that my job here is not to stay in and kill every mech. It is to do the thing and then leave. Confirmed. Well, at least the uh, the facility's in the middle of a bunch of water. It's gonna help with our ridiculous heat What's consumption. Up, or heat heat production. Hold on, let's wait until he gets up there. We got company. Ooh, ninety-five eighty, huh? I'm here. Definitely get the Highlander up there as close as possible. In for you. Move on out. Sixty-five, eighty, ninety-five. I'm very curious what this is. You know, I didn't even think about bringing either of our new mechs in because I'm like, oh, well, I haven't outfitted them with the right gear or anything yet. But they probably still would have been useful, huh? Receiving you. Let's have Decker move up and uh, see what we can see here. I want to protect my left arm. Heading out. Not so much that I show my back to whatever this is. It's a Banshee. So it's in pretty bad shape, but pretty bad shape for this thing is still impressive. Because it has full structure. Pair PPCs. Yeah, armaments aren't actually that dangerous. I'd be lying if I said I was not a little scared of it, though. So I'm standing in cover right now. What if we just call shot to this thing's side? Will it lose guarded if it falls if it falls down? We call shot to a leg, maybe? We have to work through guarded, but it's only 130 health. Yeah, let's see if we can take one of its legs off. So do I want to focus on the leg that's on the same side as Medusa? For cover, in case I don't completely finish it? Or do I want to work the other leg in the hopes that Medusa will be able to take down the leg that's on his side more easily? I guess I have to get 130 damage through. We have... Two, it's a, uh, 260 damage I have to get through. I'm going to take this side that's available to other people, just in case. Alright, 21. We can do that. We can do it. So I think Medusa should be able to get a shot on it. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, that being the case, he probably reserves. We did take that thing down to, um, down to acting on one with the called shot. Oof. Okay, it's not so bad. I'm yeah, I like. Fire. I should probably have brought in the Zeus at the very least. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sumo's not gonna be able to get direct fire on that thing, but we can move to here. Got pretty good odds. Is it doesn't really matter where I stand. Yeah, let's stand kind of out of the way, I guess. But I'm definitely not blocking the movement of the Highlander. I want to try to come forward a little bit, but I don't really want to expose the Orion uh, right this second. At only 840 front armor, even though it is a, a heavier mech and it's, it's not a bad fighter, it's also not quite as prepared as some of our others. So I need five hits to the leg. Fewer if some of them come from the uh, the high damage pod. And if I were to call to the leg... Oh, that's right, he picked up some, some ability to aim, so a third of them will go... 
Yeah, all right, I'm gonna take this. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, okay. Okay, we got there, we got there. Man, he probably cracked his head on that ramp pretty good. Oh, there are mechs that we can't see yet, because that, that was definitely, like, them actually taking a turn. I can't quite get into the back arc on this guy, which is a real shame, because we, we're very close to being able to disregard the fact that he's guarded. Right, I think I'm just going to reserve, because Medusa still doesn't have a good shot. And now we can try with the Highlander to... Uh, to maybe work the other leg a little bit. Let me tell you something. If I can take two pieces of salvage off that thing, I will. It's like, I can't quite get a... Okay, if I jump, I can get a straight shot. And it does go to the correct side. If you say so. Yep, we're just going to fire everything we got. Alright, fingers crossed for a Gauss Rifle hit to the leg. Oh, well, a Gauss Rifle hit to the base that we're supposed to be capturing is probably the worst possible outcome. 111 left. Alright, that's that's workable. Unfortunately, it has not drawn close enough for me to actually have a shot on it. So, I mean, do I run up here and do half damage to this thing just to... Just to contribute something. I'm a little worried about the heat generation. But I guess it's actually pretty fragile relative to the stuff we're fighting. Yeah, okay. Let's just step up and rain a little death down. And hopefully three initiative is an or three evasion is enough to protect me from the one turn they're gonna get before it's my turn again. Acknowledge. And focus up, just hit one location over and over again. Nope. Yeah, that was very spread out. Systems holding. Taking full damage does suck. Standing by. It's doing a good job of turning so that the weak side is not available to me again. Do I want to... How much do I want to move forward here, actually? Position confirmed. Okay, he's guarded, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I think we can get it. Only need to get a 222 damage through. If the autocannon doesn't miss, I think we're good here. Confirmed. All right, that is awesome for us in a number of ways. Waiting for orders. Also, just like very embarrassing for them. We're hitting the front arc, so there's pretty good odds of me doing some damage to the side that I've already damaged. Affirmative. <laughs> well, I've taken all of the armor off of his front side. I guess that's something. Not ideal. Nope, just go ahead and be done. Holding and cooling. Alright, I think Decker's gonna be fine. My real concern isn't even this lance anymore, it's whatever whatever comes next. I can't quite generate a clean shot on that thing. I think I probably do just want to hit it. Like, we've, uh, we're gonna hit the back armor here, which is a shame. But there's not that much of it, and we have done some really significant structural damage already. Let's just see if we can finish this thing off. Targeting for an alpha Let people refocus on the more important target. Okay. 
one last time. Something else coming in at 65. How are we gonna get Thunderbolt down the down the hillside? Hey. Like, is that a thing that I can do at all? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> also, I feel like I never walk the Highlander anywhere anymore. Uh, we probably don't actually need to aim this. If I go for an aim shot and just try to center the thing out, maybe we could get it? Would I get it this turn, do you think? About half the shots hitting, doing 150 damage? Absolutely not. But we could get it close. Here we go. Well, that was quite a bit more than half. So we can jump down to the water, but we can't get any shots off afterward. Jumping. Yeah, seriously, where are we gonna... How am I gonna get the Thunderbolt into the mission? Okay, he's gotta, like, run around over to here. Commander. I should maybe just actually do that. I think Sumo's got him. we are going to need to get everybody to that evac zone over there, and uh, if I don't start moving Decker now, he's never going to arrive. What's up, Commander? Okay, well, I would go so far as to say that that was objectively the wrong play. Piece of cake. Why would you? Why would you strip evasion charges from the guy who's guarded and not the other guy who's nearby? I don't think we have to do anything fancy here. I need. Well, I guess I do need quite a few hits, don't I? Yeah, all right, let's call it. I'm gonna give him the big bubble. Sorry, you're gonna give him the what? Let's hit him hard. I know we're intergalactic mercenaries and everything, but we are still bound by the Geneva Convention and also the basic bounds of good taste. So I don't know what you said there, but it, it makes me nervous. I want you to I want you to know that. I may regret this. One of these days we're going to use the Highlander's legs again, I swear. Okay, just another Thunderbolt. Locking in target. Man, that missile pod does so much stability damage. Aye, aye. Actually, very ridiculous. Uh, okay, well, if I don't have a shot, no matter how I do this, I suppose I just reserve. Let's let him take his turn. Come forward a little bit, maybe. Yes, Commander. Okay, now we've got what I was looking for. And I don't think we have to do anything particularly fancy with this guy. Maybe we just run up and unload with everybody. He should go down. Targeting for an alpha strike. Some yeah. decent head damage there. We got 15 yep. head health left. How unfortunate for him. Right here. All right, Sumo does have the one jump jet, so he can he can hop down the hill at least a little bit. But he's gonna have to, I think, let uh, the Highlander get out of the way first. Alright, now Sumo, I want you to be very careful not to hit any of the base buildings with this shot. It's, like, really important. I'm pretty sure some of those were hits. Whatever, everything's still standing, it's fine. On the move. 
can jump down very slowly, just a little bit at a time. Roger that. Maybe we should try to get another jump jet in on this thing. I don't know. I'm here. Okay. Just trying to make sure he was actually going to be able to get down this way. Standing by. Have Decker move forward. The evac area is somewhere over here, right? Hey. I'm going to have everybody else take their moves first. Then we will get into the area. Alright, hold cool position and force the scientist to board Buckshot's mech, I think. I'm expecting more trouble, obviously. Roger. Because the Highlander can still do work from here, it's not going to get suddenly blown up. Oh man, what did you just run through? That uh, probably wasn't important. Area's cleared. Oh! I thought... I thought for sure there was going to be, like, another Lance involved there. Okay, well, that was easy. Man, we should have come to this planet a long time ago. Everybody here is terrible at mech combat. And we actually get some pretty good salvage on this, too. Uh, so we're definitely going to take... Oh, I have almost... I had almost finished a Banshee. Great. Uh, plus damage, plus accuracy laser is kind of cool. One of those one of those good cockpits is pretty cool. Honestly, uh, kind of an unimpressive haul. Well, do I want to start working on another Banshee? The odds of me actually putting together another one are basically zero, I think. But still, like, what else am I gonna what else am I gonna take here? Uh, we'll grab... That's a component I might actually use. This is a component I might actually use. They gave me the Thunderbolt stuff anyway. <laughs> yeah, wow. What a productive episode. So like I said, I think what we will do here is... Uh, I will figure out what the correct builds for our mechs are uh, between now and the next episode. Please, if you have any feelings about that stuff do leave them in the comments below and we'll take a moment to uh to check out our new acquisition so that you can see the hard points and stuff and then once we figured that out i don't know we might almost be in a place where we could just go yeah. where we could go to the next thing i guess we are still short of pilot so we need to pick somebody up and i would prefer that it not be uh some low stat rando so we might we might jump one or two more times just had looking around for like uh Gauss weaponry or or something while we're hunting for another pilot as well. What do I want to do with you? <laughs> Improved melee hit is probably not the right play. Yeah, okay. Increased overheat threshold. I like that. Training confirmed, Commander. Good to go. Uh, Behemoth really doesn't have a lot of... She is over the training threshold, it would seem. So she's not generating anything. Hey. Uh, Buckshot... I don't have any idea what we're going to have you doing, but moving toward called shot mastery seems wise. Receiving you. Uh, Decker can't st man. Decker's actually going to max out his stats. Receiving you. There's a serious chance of Medusa doing it as well. Mech warrior training complete. I'm here. Uh, Reckless, of course, doesn't really have any XP. Waiting for orders. What do I want from Sumo? Increased unsteady threshold. Actually, I guess um, piloting is important for him because he probably is going to end up. Training confirmed, command. Like I said, basically he's going to be the other Medusa probably. He's in kind of a weird spot for it, but there certainly are times where I where I wished that Medusa had multi-target. Okay. Seven good pilots. We're very, very close. So let's have a quick look at our mech, our new mech, before we finish up here for the day. 95 tons. I'm very excited about that. The Banshee has six support slots and eight energy weapon slots. Not exactly what I was looking for. 
it's tough. The These bigger mechs, you want to mount bigger weapons on them. But frankly, I don't feel that the large energy weapons are very good. PPCs are fine, I guess. I like the medium laser a lot, but... I don't know. We'll have to... We'll fiddle with this thing a little bit. Maybe it's reasonable to mount eight medium lasers and six small lasers on it and just run at people. Let me know how you feel about it, of course, in the comments. And that is going to do it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are all excited about the prospect of this big final mission. There's been a lot of build-up. And, uh... Boy, I hope it can follow through on the tension. So come back next time to see us preparing just a little tiny bit more. And we'll see you then.